If you put your mind to it, you can actually achieve it. I've always loved the quote that says, hold the vision, trust the process. And uh, I resonate with the story of bamboo trees, where they take such a long time to grow, but they will last a lifetime. And that has been my journey. I started my education in Wathaiga Primary School, where I did my KCPE. I joined Chogoria Girls High School in Tarakaniti County in 2011. And I purposed that I will make something good out of it. I was able to make my school proud and uh, after the KCSC results were announced, I was the top girl in my county and among the top students in the country. And that gave me an opportunity to join Equity Leaders Program and I worked at Fullways branch uh, in 2015 before I joined University of Nairobi for my undergraduate. I joined my undergraduate in September 2015 uh, where I pursued a degree in actuarial science and through the four years I was given internships at the bank. I worked as a mobile banking agent at Fowey's branch and um, I was able to also get that exposure to still connect what I was learning because there were some bits of financial mathematics in campus that I was able to relate while I was still working at the bank. I also got other internships at the Actual Society of Kenya where I volunteered as well and I was able to interact with very many mentors who really guided me through to nurture my leadership skills and they, they were really able to guide us through the process all through the four years. After I cleared, I got an internship with Task before I got now a permanent job. And now most recently I'm working with the data science team at Equity Bank. Yeah, and these opportunities that Equity has given me, I am truly truly grateful. The skills, are, especially the personal skills that I have learned, is integrity. The bank really invests in integrity. You cannot work at the bank and not be someone who cannot be trusted. There's a core value of teamwork. As a leader, you want to bring positive change. You need to influence them to understand your vision and the purpose that you have for that course. Another thing is creativity and innovation. They want you to be innovative. They want you to, to do things that are not normally done, which can make process faster and easier. Uh, my love for mathematics started from when I was in, I think, class two. I had a teacher who really was teaching mathematics and made mathematics easy. My math journey has been really good. I think it's the only subject that I easily understand. Yeah. Most recently, I was awarded the Chevening Scholarship. I'm going to study data, data science and analytics at Cardiff University in Wales in the UK. And it has been a journey that I have failed. It wasn't my first attempt to apply, it was my second and I failed. But through the failure, I was able to learn. I didn't lose hope. I decided that I'll make another attempt in 2021. And through the guidance of a mentor who had already gotten an Australian scholarship, he was really able to guide me through the ACEs and the preparation for the interview and also Equity Group Foundation came through for me and I truly, truly thank the foundation for that. One thing I have learned about life is only believe everything is possible. If you put your mind to it, you can actually achieve it. Failure is always a part of life, but you cannot allow failure to put you down. I'm really passionate about creating insurance awareness, financial inclusion. So I've realized that actually currently in Kenya, the insurance coverage is at 2.71%. And if more people can be able to get insurance, then the people won't have this financial burden when a need arises for one to go to the hospital. Apart from that, I'm really also passionate about mentorship and youth development. Uh, currently, I, on an individual basis, I'm just mentoring people on getting scholarships abroad and writing the essays. I believe that when you're able to mentor someone, you are able to pay it forward. I'm also very passionate about education 
and especially girls' education, not forgetting the boy child. So to the young people, I would like to tell them that keep on the focus, believe in yourself, you can do it, and most importantly, be humble and with God, everything is possible. I'd like to thank the Equity Group for the guidance they accorded us. I remember back then in 2015, I was enrolled for the college counseling to apply for schools abroad. I was able to get admission, but unfortunately I didn't get funding. But when I called upon them to assist me during my master's application, they were able to come through for me. So I'd like to really thank the bank for the opportunities they've given me to grow as a person, to grow in my career, and also now in my academic journey. And I'm truly grateful to eat for the people who've mentored me right from the CEO of the bank the many times of during inductions or when we have met in person and the questions that I've asked him and he has answered back taking that opportunity to mentor us taking that time to be with us talk to us to motivate us as he always says your background shouldn't be a determination of your future you are the only one who can be able to change your future because your future is in your hands and these are the guiding principles that have kept us to be on course and to continue pursuing our goals.